Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Attitudes. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Uber Eats driver account. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data cell for just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for you to actually create your Uber Eats driver account, the first thing you need to do here is you need to access the official website for Uber. Now, the steps might be different for different regions. Like in this case, in Australia, you need to go to their website. Now, in some cases, in the, in the US, you need to download the app itself for you to make that specific type of application. Now, you just need to go to Google Play Store here, search for Uber, and once you see Uber there, or Uber driver specifically you could go ahead and just click on sign up and just basically complete all the details or requirements that they request but again in some cases the app itself will not be avail available or the uber driver app will not be available so in this case you need to go to your official website now in this case go ahead and open up uber eats driver here go to google here and search for that and from here look for uber so it's going to say deliver with uber eats so let's go and click on it now from here let's go and click on get started and from here, we need to log in. In this case, let's go and click on continue with Google here. Since I have a Google account, let's go and choose this email here. And from here, let's go and click on continue. Now, in this case, if you don't have any an account yet, you need to enter your first name as well as your surname as well as your mobile number. In this case, in the following pages, go ahead and complete all the necessary information here. That includes your first name, your last name, as well as some details about yourself, like your date of birth. In this case, once you complete that, you should be able to create your account and you should be able to see the sign up page for Uber Eats. Now, once you've created your account, it's going to redirect you to some pages, but in this case, it will be showing you some agreements. Like, for example, the legal agreements here, terms and conditions. You can, in this case, you could just go ahead and click on the uh, links that is appropriate for that and lead, read through all the documents on it. But once you're agreed to that, just hit on continue. And then once you hit on all the continue buttons that you uh, see on your screen for the agreements and policies, you should be able to see this screen here. Now, this screen here is actually really important because the screen here is the application for your account. So that includes providing some details about yourself just to verify that you're actually a real person and you don't have any issues with your uh uh, account. So in this case, you have the national identity card here. So in this case, you need to either provide your passport, citizenship, birth certificate, or immig immigration card if you have one. Now, also, you need to actually provide your profile photo. Like for example, we first want to provide our national identity card. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, you need to take a photo of it depending on what type of it that you have. Like, for example, your birth certificate. You just need to have it ready. And from here, just click on take photo to for you to actually take a photo of that photo or of that specific document. Now, also, when we go back in here, we have a profile photo, which in this case, you need to take a picture of yourself or provide a picture of yourself. In this case, go ahead and click on take photo here. Now, in this case, there are going to be some requirements or some tips here that you need to follow for you to have your account approved. So make sure to follow all instructions that you see here. Like for example, face the camera, make sure the photo is well lit. So make sure to take this photo in a well lit area or there's a significant number of lights. And also, do not add filters. So make sure that the photo that you'll be actually taking here is as accurate as it can be uh, that you look like in person. Now, in this case, you also have the option to provide the front of your driver's license, vehicle registration certificate, and background check and rights to work and check. Now, in this case, if you want to fill out that specific uh, detail, you can go ahead and click on it, like click uh, this case, and you should be able to see these options here. In this case, just click on apply now for you to start this one. Now, also, you have the safe delivery education here. So there are going to be some specific trainings that you need to uh, basically do here. In this case, you need to take a test. Now, in this case, you just need to complete all the checklists that you see here and your application will be submitted to Uber. Now, in this case, that's about it. So also at the very top uh, or the very start of this uh, application, it's going to also ask you how do you want to uh, basically make the delivery. Like for example, you want to use your car, your bike, or your scooter. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.